don't understand how UBI will lead to increased inequality. Uh, Olive, here's the way it's going to work, right? Who's going to hand out the hand out the UBI, universal basic income? The centralized power is going to hand out the universal basic income, right? It has to. If it's going to be universal basic income, it's going to be centralized power, right? Now, if you take this to the extreme limit where there's a global uh, government, then one location in that global government is going to hand out money to everyone. If that doesn't uh, raise red flags, you have to look into that, right? But let's assume it's going to be a country, universal basic income per country. So let's assume universal basic income is in the hand of a centralized federal government ruling body that governs over a country. Okay. On the most basic level, if you want to take the United States, for example, right? We'll take one example. Obama brought in the, what was it called? He gave semi uh, dreamers, the dreamers act, where he allowed some of those who have entered the United States and been living and working in the United States illegally, 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 for decades, uh, protection that they could continue. And then the new administration came in and all of a sudden there's a database of all of these people. Some people have been saying this was a tag team, that they wanted to create the debate database and then the Republicans come in, but that's going into theories, right? Let's stay with the facts. The new administration came in and they have this database and they, with the central government policing ICE, they've been zapping people up, right? Or sending letters to people. Now, just imagine this with universal basic income. Universal basic income, right? Let's assume one government says everybody's eligible to universal basic income. Another government comes into power, right? Another party comes into power. And that party all of a sudden criminalizes a certain type of behavior in that society, right? Let's say prohibition on tomatoes. Anybody that's growing tomatoes is a criminal. And governments have done this, not necessarily tomatoes. Even though tomatoes, uh, I believe there's a period in American history that tomatoes were even illegal, right? But many things could become illegal. Gold was illegal to hold at a certain point in U.S. history, right? In the last hundred years right many things can be prohibited by governments so let's assume these governments a new party comes in and prohibits something in that society and anyone that is associated with this is now a criminal and then they say anyone that's a criminal cannot receive ubi universal basic income just like the way that anybody that has a felony conviction cannot get student loans cannot get uh, support for housing cannot get this cannot get this right all of a sudden all of a sudden inequality right that's on the most simple level did that answer your question all of once you centralize power that power can do whatever the hell it wants to the society and once you centralize power Okay, those who want to corrupt this society or control the society have their jobs cut out for them because they don't have to go all around the country to corrupt, right? To take over. They just have to go to the central institution, regulatory capture the centralized institution and control everything. 